the new seat, we've got a bit of a nickname. It's called the bucket because you're basically sitting inside a really expensive tailor-made bucket made out of carbon fiber. Honestly, it's probably going to change the game for the next five, 10 years. Tom, welcome to our 3D print room. Currently, this is probably the hardest working room in the AIS. We're currently producing parts for Olympic athletes, Paralympic athletes in the run up to Tokyo. The printers in here run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. What we're trying to do is give the athlete more bang for buck when they push the chair. So better performance, better agility, and better support. We use prepreg carbon fiber, so it has the highest strength to weight ratio that is possible. So the seats tend to be very, very light. So when the athlete turns, the chair turns, you know, there's almost no thought. And in many ways, the chair becomes more part of the athlete. For our sport, which is so fast reaction speeds, quick turns, quick movements, to be able to even get, you know, 0.01 of a second faster at something would be game changing for everyone. Our team here at the AIS and Paralympics Australia, we punch above our weight in, in terms of how we can develop equipment. We use 3D scanning to scan the athlete in the chair and, and take very, very accurate measurements. You know, probably 50% of the cost of the seat is, is in the design, uh, the machining of the mould we, we can do in-house. You know, the, the cost of doing these projects is much, much less. You know, it's investment like that that, that really can, can drive future developments. Yeah, I think, yeah, Matt said that it's made out of the same material that Ferraris are made out of in the, in the F1. So it's pretty crazy to think that I'm using the same thing that you know, these race car drivers are driving around. So hopefully it makes me a little bit faster and I can, yeah, also look good doing it. And there's actually a lot of similarities between motorsport and, and what we're doing here. Three of our team currently are ex-motorsport people. We're applying everything we learnt in, you know, many, many years into, into this. Yeah, Matt's been incredible here at the AIS, sending me messages usually every week with new ideas about how to make it better or how to streamline it. The AIS being so cutting edge and, and world class and kind of the leaders in the, the new chair design and to see where it can go from here will be, will be really interesting. It wouldn't surprise me to see, you know, eight to 10 players on each team uh, around the world have one of these chairs. I think Australia as a whole is set up so well for the Tokyo Paralympics to, to take that next step and continue being one of the leaders in sport.